When it comes to anime online, it's very hard to escape debates where people compare one series to another. Whether it's debates about power scaling, design, or even just how good the writing is, these conversations are always going to happen. So I decided why would I not just try to lump all of the popular shows that people talk about online and figure out which anime is the best scientifically. In this case, my scientific method just happens to be an anime game with over 200 characters and a giant wheel featuring every series in the game. In the future, instead of the wheel, I'll just have you guys down below in the comments select different franchises you want to see fight. But for now, the wheel has decided that it's going to be Demon Slayer versus One Piece. Okay, now that we have our matchup, we're here and we're ready to select our teams. I've set it up so that it's going to be 4v4 in a tag and then with extra characters, we're going to do 2v2 simultaneous matches or tag depending on how I'm feeling. But for starters, let's pick our Demon Slayer team. We're just going to go right down the four. We already know who we want. We want Tanjiro, we want Nezuko, we want Zenitsu, and we want Inosuke. The main four that you think of. Then for One Piece, obviously we're going to go probably with just the Straw Hats, however many we can find in this game. So it looks like we've got Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, the monster trio, and then uh, I guess we can go with Usopp. Usopp's just the next in line, and I like that. All right, now that we have our four main competitors, we're ready for just about anything. So let's see these two series fight. Oh my God, they're all doing their intros at once. They're loud. Wait. Here's our two first competitors, Tanjiro versus Luffy. Oh man, Luffy's ready for a fierce battle. I can already tell Tanjiro's gonna need a clutch up here for the team. He's running in. Luffy's missed. Tanjiro with a clear-cut slice. Access to the Kagura. Oh my god, he's got him in a loop. And a super as well. Luffy just canceled the super. Just went to gear two and knocked him on his ass. Oh no, watch out, Luffy. Oh, Tanjiro dodges it. He's capable of keeping up even at these speeds. Gear second misses again. Watch out for gear two. Damn, big fist. Tanjiro got laid out. <laughs> oh, come on, fight back, Tanjiro. He's dashing around, but he's not swinging his sword. Oh my god. Damn, he got bodied again. Oh, he's just walking at him. What is that? What is Luffy doing? Is that Kagura talking? Oh my god, he just walked up. Tell me he did not just walk up and use uh, armor's hawk. Oh my god, I can't even talk. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, clear blue. That was sick, and he's got more combos. He's behind on health, but he's not out of spirit just yet. Tanjiro is always better in the clutch. I've never once seen this man not clutch up in his life. And it looks like he's repeating it here today, folks. Luffy versus Tanjiro. He's going to walk up and do what he did. Watch out for the down smash. Oh, my God. They got him. Wait. He's got a super of his own. He blocks it. He blocks the Embu. But he gets it with the second one. Tanjiro might just take it over Luffy today. Luffy stalling, getting away. Meets Tanjiro's block. Luffy's got him in corner, but Tanjiro's blocking it all. No chip damage. Tanjiro's defense fails him. It's going to be a 1 HP to 1 HP. Tanjiro's going to get up and slices Luffy it up. He takes round one for the team. He's going to get a little bit of health back here before Zoro comes in. But here's Zoro, a match between two swordsmen. Honestly, Tanjiro just needs to get a little bit of health. I think his team respects what he was able to do, but Zoro's going to brutally cut him in half. And Zoro's gonna get back all the health he lost. Nezuko probably very angry on the sidelines watching this. Certainly she has to come in and help out. It actually doesn't look like she's very angry at all. She's kind of just emotionally most necessary. Oh, she just she just went tiny mode and ran up. Are we gonna see more? Zoro is a beast in this game. Look at that air combo. Oh wait, Nezuko kind of fighting back, skipping across, skipping to Orlu across the ground. Why'd she run like that? Oh, Zoro does not care. Is, is Nezuko really not even on the team? Is it because these people are human? Did they actually program that debuff into, the, into this game? Because she's not doing anything. What is Tanjiro fighting for? I mean, to be honest, Zoro might just have the combo. He might have to, he's lifting weights. He doesn't even see her as a threat. He's insane. She's just kicking the air. She's mad. She's mad. She's kicking her ass. She's wasting all... Oh, in the air. In the air, super. And then a slice project. Is he going to gain all the health back again? My God, Nezuko did nothing. Nezuko did absolutely nothing. Certainly, Nezuko being dead has to piss off the next competitor. I know Zenitsu about to go crazy. Somebody on the Demon Slayer team needs to clutch up. And it's going to be Zenitsu. Ooh that was a bit shocking. Oh, my God. He just dashed right through Zoro. He keeps doing thunder. Oh, he ran away. That was actually that was actually clutch. He it was able to dodge Zoro's slice because he got afraid. He got scared. Ah, oh, sliced it. Wow, he actually got sliced in half. I saw the cutscene. For some reason, he's still alive though. That's respectable. Another good super here. The electric slice is gonna take a bit of Zoro's health. He's got him in the corner, and he's not gonna let up that pressure. This is something Nezuko could learn from. Seven hits. Ugh. The thing is though, the Demon Slayer team is already down a character. Wait. A big counter super from Zenitsu? No, it's not. Zoro's starting to clutch up. And while Zenitsu's done a ton of damage, 
He needs to put Zoro away if this team has any chance of coming back. Three bars. He's in a counter state, but Zoro uses, uses a projectile. Zenitsu with not a lot of health back. Still has two bars. He slices right through him. Huge damage. Is it enough? It is. Zenitsu goes god mode and slices Zoro in half. The swordsman for the One Piece team has gone down. Zenitsu is going to get no health back. That All the health he has is what he has. Sanji has a great chance of being able to make a huge... He's flying. Sanji's just flying. How is Zenitsu supposed to counter this? Sanji's just flying. He goes into a counter and gets a super off. The second Sanji touches the ground, Zenitsu makes the most of it. He's at three bars now. We're just going to see a one bar super. This move does a ton of damage. A ton of damage. A great start. And he gets him back on the ground as well. Zenitsu is clutching. Watch out from above. Uh, that was bad. That was bad for Team Demon Slayer. Zenitsu was definitely the hard carry there. You've got to remember, though, if Inosuke can just find a way to dig deep and get past Sanji, he just has Usopp left. Oh, a huge full moon slice. Sanji's charging up, but so is Inosuke. Inosuke at three. Sanji at three. Both have access to their largest supers. Inosuke dodges the move that Zenitsu didn't see coming and gets him back on the ground. Nice combo. Does a full moon slice and dodges another super from Sanji. He's just skipping the Why is he just doing backflips? Sanji blocks all of that with one leg. But he can't block the follow-up, baby. What? Stop Stop punching him, Inosuke. Use the swords. Woo, look at that combo. In the air. He can't continue it, though. Sanji was flying again, but lands right back in the beast's fang. Oh, Sanji might die here. This might be a one-to-one. -one. Inosuke going to three bars. It might be a little bit excessive for Sanji. Oh, Antier, get that out of here. Inosuke not playing around. My God, what a counter. And he's already calling on Usopp. If you're a One Piece fan, you've got to be sweating right now. It's coming down to Usopp. Are you going to get God Usopp or a similar? He jumps over the green shooter. Oh my God, he's got great range though. Maybe we overlooked this. A zoner against a swordsman. This might be a great matchup for Usopp. He's firing projectiles in the ground. He's forcing him to play. What, what happened to Inosuke? Did, did anybody else see that? Was that? Oh, he's, he was just invisible. Is he, is he doing a level three? Oh, oh my god, he was doing a lot of talking and a lot of breathing, but I don't think he could He's never gonna get past the peace shooters Usopp is you could argue Usopp's playing cheap, but I argue he's just playing to live He's got him down to half unless Inosuke can find a way in and beat this zoning I don't think he stays he's using his agit. No, he just bent over backwards I thought maybe he was finding a way to dodge, but oh my god He didn't he's not even gonna touch him. We're talking about god Usopp. It was a damn near perfect Usopp clutches up for Team One Piece and succeeds in gaining victory in the 4v4 event. Now we come back to the tag event. And for the tag team, obviously, we're just going to go with two of the Hashira that work together in show. We're talking Giyu and we're talking Shinobu. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit different here. A little bit different. Since I don't want to go with anybody from the One Piece crew that we already used, I need to come up with another duo. And you can see here, there's a couple duos we can go with. Obviously, we might have to do another duo match just to see what happens. Maybe a finale event. But I'm thinking, why not just go with something the One Piece fans are going to want to see? I'm talking Team Odin. And and he's actually working with Kaido this time. Now you gotta remember, this is a tag team match. The mechanics are going to change here. They'll have access to their teammate at all times. Giyu on the ground. Odin charging up. Giyu not doing much. He's just crouching. What is he doing? Is he throwing? Demon Slayer cannot afford to lose this. If they do, it's just a clean sweep. Oh, no, no. oh my god, just doing it. all of it. Oh. At least Giyu was able to block that. He was not able to block the follow-up. And Odin's just going to do it again. Giyu manages to hop over him and get a clean slice. Finally, for the first time. Oh, he was teabagging. Maybe he's messing with them. What was that? Bro was always oh, teabagging again. He's not taking this very seriously at all. Not behavior you'd expect out of Giyu, but I don't think he cares. I think he's making it look a little too easy right now. Clean sweep from Odin. Giyu's got him down in the corner. He was teabagging again, I think. But he's missing every slice. Odin is insanely fast. Oh my god, the star technique. Oh wait, Giyu just countered. Maybe the reason Giyu's not moving around so much is he needs to set his feet for the counters. Could that be what we're looking at? Nope, we're just looking at somebody throwing. Get up, Giyu! Stop blocking! Fight! Fight, Giyu! He's just blocked it, and he didn't even block the attack. Bru oh my god. Shinobu, Shinobu, get in here. Wait, Giyu on one health. Maybe he can clutch up. He hasn't gotten hit yet. He's just teabagging. He... He tags out! He tags out! Shinobu comes in! Giyu's gonna be in the background, gaining a little bit of health back. Maybe he just knew he, he wasn't the open act. Oh my god, Kaido's here and he's just bashing her with a stick! This guy's like nine feet tall! Why, why is his animation just him throwing- <laughs> Why'd he just throw his at? He threw his stick and just walked away. It's Odin again. Odin with the, the twirl. Giyu comes back in. He gained a little bit of health so we can take that attack. 
And he can take that one too, but he can't take anything else. And he's dead. Shinobu, I don't even know why you tagged him back in. Odin doesn't even look like he wants to fight. Oh my god. Why is Kaido just jumping around? Kaido is just jumping and... Oh, he... Maybe because when he actually tries, he just slapped her into the wall. Odin's back in. He gained a little... Oh, they're working like a... You would never believe the relationship these two have in the actual source material. They're working like best of friends. They're brothers. Oh, Odin armoring up. Slices her in... She's dead. Oh, no, she's not. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong health bar. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The One Piece duo never gave these two a chance. Maybe I went too strong. Either way, the One Piece duo is going to wrap it up to... Why is he not taking this seriously? Shinobu has to use her... She was teabagging too. 2-0 two -oh for the One Piece team. All right, we're doing one more tag match, and this time, I want to use two of my favorite characters, Rengoku, and then obviously my favorite of all time, Tengen. I know he's not going to let me down. And for this side, I think we just do Law and Mihawk. Two random characters again, but uh, they're two of my favorites in that show as well. Now, obviously, we're looking at a One Piece team that's up 2-0, so this really isn't anything more than a statement game. A chance for Demon Slayer to say, hey, nobody comes out here and perfects us. He switches out to Tengen. Oh, we're already seeing room shambles, but Tengen's not going down easy. That's my goat right there. That's my sound breathing goat with the combos. He's not going anywhere. Law's going to have to... Oh, he's got the room. He could teleport anywhere. Room set up, but he doesn't use it to teleport. He just set up the room. Perhaps a fake out. Wait a second. The room deflected the, the knives? And why did that do so much damage? Mihawk is the king of swordsmen. But do our Demon Slayer people have anything to say about it? He might be the king of swordsmen, but is he able to set his heart ablaze? Let's go! Rengoku with a huge slash. Mihawk able to just perfectly stop that. I need to see more from One Piece. Oh, Rengoku's level three. He lands it. He's setting his heart ablaze. Unreal. He lands his level three. He's not going to let Team Demon Slayer go down without a fight. And that did a huge amount of damage to me. Oh my God, what's Mihawk doing? He gets blocked. It doesn't matter what he's doing. Rengoku's not going down like that. Insane grounded combo. We're talking corner to corner. Oh my God. Tengen, the teamwork of the Hashira is not to be underestimated. They might fight a little more often than not, but these two are just putting Mihawk in their place. A flurry of kunai means that Mihawk is down and Law's going to have to do the rest of the work. He's got his room set up, but Tengen doesn't care. For some reason, Rengoku's speech has truly inspired this team to get their act together. My God. This is some fine swordsmanship. What a lead. Is it even possible to choke? Maybe if Law can clutch up. But it doesn't look likely. Tengen's gonna lock it up. Rengoku and Tengen once again. I believe that they were coming here to make a statement. And make a statement they did. You gotta be proud of the boys. Even if you're on Team One Piece. That was an insane clutch up. And I think we're going to leave it there. One Piece will take the event 2-1, but Demon Slayer with an amazing fight. Fans of both shows got to be proud, and I couldn't be prouder as your host. With that said, like the video, subscribe, and I'm going to get out of here. Goodbye.